What are we doing? What are we doing? We are Mo, Cormac, and Evie. Join us on our journey to build a plantable food trailer. This episode, we finally complete many of our unfinished projects and ready the trailer for her transformation into a clean space to cook our plants full food. Enjoy our trailer build part four. Today we are finally getting back to work on the food trailer and some key things that we want to try and take care of before we move, move too far along is this bubbling here um, of the aluminum. So what we're going to start to do is we're going to take this off and um, see if, if we're able to flatten this out. Alright, that's it, let's do it. Let's get to work. First things first, we took out the window, but found out that the screws were bending as we were taking them out. Alright, why don't you do this side and I'll do that side. And it's clear that Cormac is much more comfortable using power tools than I am. Alright. So, fingers crossed, we take this off. And then we can flatten this. Ready? It looks like it wasn't the window that was causing it to bow. So we're ultimately gonna have to put that back that window back in. We need to figure out a way of flattening all of this. Ideas? Maybe we do in both places. I wish I had knew that when I was doing the pry bar thing that it was going to stretch the aluminum. Yeah, we're going to run into this problem. But I think in hindsight. I think that we do just need to cut this yeah. in it's two spots and kind of Well, we could cut the top one and see if that does it, and then if not, we can do the bottom too. Alright. Let's see how it goes. So I'm just wiping off the silicone that we used that I think was expired and so it never actually um, cured and got hard. And so it's just so slimy. So we're gonna have to redo that too again. So it's, it's probably good that we took off the window anyways, just to make sure that we can really waterproof it. So as soon as we cut that, everything kind of just shifted down by like you know eighth of an inch or so. And it's you can feel it's kind of released, relieved a lot of a lot of the stress um, in it. So we're gonna do the same thing to the bottom section there. It feels like we're going in the wrong direction. This is really painful. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh man. What did we do? Yes, yeah, so you can see all this just shifted now too. Oh yeah. Oh look at that though. Look, it's flat. It's flat. Oh, you can it just... worked. Okay. Feel a little better now? Oh yeah. No, that was a like, bit of a risk. I just hated that bulge. It's so ugly. It was so ugly. And unfortunately now we have a slice in our trailer, but uh, I think it had to happen. <laughs> it's not the first one. <laughs> it's a couple. This poor trailer. Just kind of hammering it flat. Next, we finally started attaching the wheel well tabs to the new plywood that we put inside the trailer. And then folding it over. Unfortunately, I lost the audio to this next part of the video, but basically, Cormac noticed that the wall of the trailer was being pushed out by the wheel well inside, which seemed to be tilted out. First, he tried pulling it by hand, and then he had the idea to try hammering it from the outside to bend it back. After this didn't seem to be working, Cormac here was trying to convince me that using a sledgehammer was the next rational option. I disagreed, but he was determined to give it a try. I mean, look at his smile. So after a couple of tries with the sledgehammer and my persistent pleas to stop, 
Cormac looked defeated as he had to put the sledgehammer away. But it turns out all we needed to do was just screw in the wall to the flooring and it pulled it right back in. Does it look? Yeah, it looks a lot better. Yeah? Wow! Yeah, we let's go. We finished up our first day a little early as it started raining, so here we are at day two. Today is day two and we've been able to cut this bit here and you can see things kind of realign themselves. So now what we need to do is cover all of this with some aluminum, with an aluminum sheet and waterproof it so that the plywood behind it doesn't get wet at all. Seems pretty good. So the first thing we started doing was screwing in the old aluminum to secure it to the plywood. Yeah, that looks good. With that. Yeah. 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 It's it's flat now. <laughs> it looks great. Yeah. Bing bang boom. Well, actually, are we gonna cut this next? Probably. Yeah. As we sort of let everything settle, this piece here kind of went down a bit, so we're gonna have to recut this because we want to make sure that when we put this trim piece on here that it's uh, kind of sitting flush with the plywood underneath. Let's see. Be careful. All right, let's try that. All right, I think it's time to throw some nails in it. Yeah? You ready? The nail gun. As that first nail didn't go in quite far enough, Cormac adjusted his settings on his nail gun to make sure that the nails were going in at the right depth. Yeah. Nice. It would have been nice to do stainless steel, but these are just galvanized nails, so they're still pretty resistant. And they're just uh, an inch and a quarter. That's it. It's all nailed up. Sweet. So this looks pretty good. Still hanging over a little? Just a little bit. We'll also have to kind of rebend this. Get it to be straight again. Kind of flatten it. All right. You gotta scrape all this silicone out of here too. Mm. Yes. That's much better. All right. Now we can try uh see all this goes on. That looks good. Let's putting it back together, Cormac. This is actually really exciting. Yeah? Yeah. Oh wow. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. good. Let's go get that aluminum piece. Let's do it. Let's do it. So this is just a upstairs that'll hopefully turn into the uh, workshop for a lobster lift. Mm -hmm. And the that's the old is, mattress from yeah, the trailer. The mattress that was in the camper originally. This is the aluminum sheet. They were gonna, they were gonna cut to make, um, to cover the, uh, the holes on the side. Do you want me to close the door? Yeah. Let's say 32 inches should be fine. 29 and a half, 32.
To smooth out the sharp edges here, Cormac is just using his deburring tool. Much better. Wow. I'm surprised how good that works. Oh, we're gonna cut ourselves. You both know we're accident prone, right? Look at Cormac's thumb. Look at that thumb. He just hurt himself. See my toes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a big patch. Big patch. We temporarily screwed in the aluminum to the side of the trailer in order to trace the very bottom of it uh, against the wheel well so we could do a final cut. Let's see how good that line is. Right. Yeah. I'm just putting some acetone on a rag try and clean up a bunch of the silicone that was kind of left over when we put the window in because it didn't it didn't really uh, cure. So I think it was an old silicone. So bit of a bummer. To seal this, we applied a bead of silicone caulking all around the inside of the aluminum to ensure that no water could get on the plywood and damage it again. Alright, it's on. And then we applied just one more bead of silicone on the outside too. Ugh. Ugh. And while we were at it, we decided to redo the silicone on the old patch that we applied that just never cured. And then it was time to put the window back in. So you want to try to... It looks like it's now up higher than it previously was. I think we just, I think I should just trim, I should just trim this aluminum that's sticking up. So Cormac screwed back in the screws for the window while I added a, a washer and a nut from the other side. Um, and this proved to be a little bit difficult as some of the screws were bent and some of the nuts from earlier had stripped. Um, and so it wasn't as easy as we were hoping. I'm just waiting for Cormac to grab a couple more so we can finish. And um, then we'll be done, I think. Another big question mark though is also this part of the floor. Um, we just didn't feel like we had the, uh, the patience to also replace this wood, which is not in good shape here either at the bottom. And there's this little window that, and like, I don't know if you can see, but there's just like some gaps here. So we got to figure out how to, how to reinforce this a little bit better over here, but that might be a project for another day. The window is in. <laughs> Very cool. Um, silicone? No, it hasn't, hasn't put the silicone on. Oh yeah. I just want to, I just want to do it nicely. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like we need to like quite figure out how we're gonna. We can wait on this, silicone. Make the side thing. Maybe that. we should wait until we're like sure. That we don't but this isn't going out anymore. It looks great. The window's on. It looks a lot better with the window on. Looks awesome, Cormac. Good job. Thanks. I'm just cleaning this off a little bit before I add some silicone <clears throat> on here to seal it so that when the water comes in and goes in here, it's not then trying to rot the wood from underneath. It's not just kind of sitting there.
So it's in. So After it's in. all that work taking it out, it was much easier putting it back in. Yeah. Today's work. It's pretty good actually. And now we're about to have some lunch at three o'clock and we can show you what we're having. We're having some really delicious, uh, some really yummy pad thai I made. And uh, Cormac just made his first sprouts in a jar, which turned out awesome. So we're gonna put some of those on there. Yeah, they're like a broccoli sprout sandwich stuffer thing with like radishes and stuff. So yeah, super easy to make. Took like three days. And uh, now we have some fresh, organic, local sprouts. So we've got three different things we want to do today. The first one is we are going to be replacing some of the plywood that's behind here. You'll recall that we, we replaced the plywood behind this section and this section down at the bottom too is like not there. Like there's no plywood. It's all rotted out. And so Cormac and I have been going back and forth on whether we wanted to, you know, do this section as well, just like from here down. And the more we talked about it, the more we thought it'd be good to just make sure that this trailer is watertight. There's this big hole here too. And so we're thinking it'd be good just to, you know, cover this all up, make sure it is completely sealed and then applying another patch here. And then our second project is to take the window out a third time. So when we put in the window before, we were originally gonna be doing a silicone caulking like we did here and around this part. And then Cormac had the idea that we might as well just do a rubber gasket instead, which will look a lot cleaner and yeah, be a bit nicer if in case we have to take the window off again, which this will be our third time now. So, you know, chances are that might happen again for some reason. So it'll just be a little easier down the road. So let's go check out our third project for today. We'll see if this actually gets done. This has been a project that has been uh, in the works for a while. <laughs> just never got to it. Uh, so we still have um, this little bit of flooring that we need to cover up with some plywood uh, just to finish off the floor. And I think that's the last thing we're hoping to get done today. So wish us luck. <laughs> Hopefully get it all there. I thought it was under this thing for a second. We first took off this little vent to create a clean slate for the rest of the work we needed to do this day. And then I worked at removing this residue that was left behind in order to create a clean surface for our new aluminum patch to go over it. We previously put in this flooring and it's not great. And so uh, this part is sticking out a little too far and in order to like cut everything flush and we put the new plywood in, we want to make sure that this, whoop, there is, this thing is straight across. Maybe the one last time you come in here. Oh, <laughs> and freeze the limit. Alright. Yeah, go back out. Because once we put the flooring in, you'll no longer be allowed in here. Bye! See you later! Get out! Get out! <laughs> come on! <laughs> come on. to take that middle strip out and redo that so we could have that sit flush as well. What the? Put things together, take things apart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I came over and I saw this. Maybe he's trying to find a shady spot. You can kind of see the plywood. It doesn't seem that bad, but 
the very bottom looks yeah, terrible. Yeah, it seems like it's just the very bottom. And this part. Doesn't. So, so I'm what guessing that the rest of this top part will be pretty good. So why are we doing this? So we don't have to worry about the circular saw cutting the aluminum siding. Tiny, tiny staples. Good. While Cormac cut the wood from the inside with the circular saw, I pulled the aluminum away from the wood so that it would have less of a chance of getting cut. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> That was, uh, so we're all running out on the bottom. Whew. All right, let's, uh, do it. Do it, do it. I'm a little tired, but let's do it. <laughs> we could probably do 40 and 70 so that it fits in. I see. So the wheel well actually extends. Oh, you're right. So we need to uh, trim it. Oh, I'm excited to cut in the wood. There we go. Whoa. There he goes. It's all nice and Ten. fixed now. <laughs> oh, that part, that was the roughest part. Yeah. This is like, this trailer's turning into like a piecemeal. I know, it's like, uh, should we have just rebuilt the whole thing? Yeah. Just taken to... all, of the, all of the aluminum siding off and mm -hmm. then put all brand new plywood. Yeah. Yeah. Is it pulling it? I pulled it, yeah. So here we're again screwing the wall into the floor to try and bring these two pieces closer together. That. Yeah, that pulled it even more. I think that is solid now. So now what we need to do is we need to cut out another one of these patches here and put it over this door that we ended up taking out. That's what you're looking for? Mm -hmm. a little bit. Where are you going now? Alright, apparently none of these tools work for this job. So many tools. I cannot do this without Cormac. Well, I couldn't do this at all without Cormac. <laughs> he is determined. Trying to flatten that out? Yeah. 
shove the board in there. Yeah. Yeah, we're worried that that bolt is going to make it hard for it to lay flat. Just want to just do a little cutout mm -hmm. for the bolt and kind of just slide the whole thing in. Yeah. Underneath it, maybe. Yeah. Pretty cool. Let's go the router. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it looks like I need to cut this bigger ledge here a little bit lower. Screwed on. We've been trying to do this one every time we worked on the trailer. And, we're like, like, and we gotta do that thing. And we gotta do that thing. Yeah. So we've just added some uh, grooves here for the um, top of the carriage bolts to sit into so that when we put it down it's not kind of all wavy. Yeah, that's so much better now. Yeah. It's not like all wavy and weird. Yeah, and it's one piece. Yeah. Sweet! The floor is in. You want to try and do that gasket? Sure. Right? Yeah. That's the last let's thing that we want to do. Let's just power through. I don't really want to, but let's just power through. Yeah. Here, I think we were both running a bit on fumes at this point. And this is how you do the window. Okay. What happened? This adhesive just doesn't seem strong enough um, on the on the back side of this gasket. It just kind of falls off easily. It might just be it might be partially that the surface isn't as great for adhesion because we previously tried to silicone it, but tried cleaning off as much as we could and it's still not really adhering very much and just kind of touching it with your finger a little bit it isn't really that tacky so we're gonna do our backup plan of putting the new, a new that, that new silicone that we got and put a bead around the edge of it and then push it on to the side of the trailer I can't get through a session without you getting hurt apparently And here we again, for the third time, went through the lengthy process of putting the window back in. So today we actually got everything done that we wanted to, for once. For once? Yeah. We did. Yeah. So we finished putting on the uh, side. Um... <laughs> Brain fried. Brain fried. <laughs> <laughs> We believe that we have put the window in for the last time. We Dear God, took we it out, so. put new silicone in, and um, screw it all back together. So the next steps are to start putting in some of the finished walls. So the um, so it'll probably be an ABS plastic, and then doing the flooring and cleaning things up and making it look like it's ready to cook some food. In. I can't believe it. Now it's like the really cool part where it's like transforming into the food trailer. Yeah. And uh, I'm doing the creative touches. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. Eat, Eat more, more plants! plants.